My name is Marco. I'm the CEO of uh, Valley Space, and uh, I have to sadly give you some notice. Uh, I was as enthusiastic as you when I came to the space business when I started building satellites. So this is what I imagined, and actually this is what I found. Um, so sadly, the reality is that space business, satellite engineering, rocket engineering, whatever you do, is basically document-based engineering. And this is when I started to understand all of these things I was reading in the newspaper, where you just read that everything is delayed, it's coming later, and then I started asking around, like, is this something other people also say? And then e even Airbus QA manager says it's as if we were working in the 70s. <laughs> so the question is, what does this look like in detail? Because many people are not aware. So basically, let's say you get to have a satellite and it's, you, you're told, okay, we're gonna increase the mass of the Star Trekker by 100 grams, right? What happens then? You get a PDF, this is put into two different Excels, these are put into more Excels and words, and into more and more and more. And then if you're lucky, this is the real process. If you're unlucky, the last part just got forgotten. And then six months later, you have produced actually some hardware, you try to put it together and you wonder, oh, there's a problem here, why? Oh, we overlooked something, it was in the other Excel. You used the version three instead of version four. Okay, so what happens is all of these processes which I showed you are done by engineers, board engineers who have to copy paste from one to the other side and it takes a long, long time to go through the whole process. So you actually in a pro pr program which during engineering six years, have never consistent documentation, never ever. At some points a bit more, at some points a bit less, but never really consistent. So basically what we're doing is, we're not doing just 10x, we're going from six months to one second. Uh, so what we've developed is a software in which you have basically a database in which all of the engineering values are inside, and these are then calculated and recalculated every time that you update something. So what do we have? We have a consistent database with all of the engineering data. Uh, engineers can actually focus on the engineering because all of their documents get updated by themselves. So you did one update, all of your analysis in the next second, all of your budgets, everything has been updated the same second. You actually get notified. So I get notified if now I have a problem with my lifetime requirement or I have a problem with another requirement. So it's not that I have to have this pool business as we have today, like going to the next office asking like, oh, what's the newest value? Can you give it to me? And so on. I can all, I get pushed the notification um, of what's actually happening. I know it sounds very basic, like from Facebook, we all know this, but sadly satellite business is not Facebook. Um, and actually the, what we're doing is we're taking all, all of the approach of how uh, usually consumer software is built. Uh, so we're making a software which is actually really easy to use. Uh, so that the so that the co that the users actually like to use it more than what they use today, which is this complex system. So the question is, does nobody do that? Yeah, people actually try. So, um, for example, there's ESA and DLR who have put something up, but actually it's only used in very early phases because the way it's designed, it's not usable in industry for longer phases. You will never find this in a C or D phase in any of the big companies. There's Siemens Team Center, they do a good job for CAD development and so on, but they don't look at the system engineering. So they don't look at formulas and time and budgets, they look only at the CAD models. And then there's wikis, which obviously cannot calculate anything. There's email and there's Excel, which is basically our biggest competitor because this is how it's done today. Okay, so do we actually know what we're talking about here? Yeah, basically we are three people in our team, that's um, me, Luis, and Simon, and we are three satellite engineers. We're fed up with the way it's done today. And we're also three programmers. So basically the software we've developed, we've developed ourselves until now. We have one national debating champion, so we may be able to convince some customers. And uh, we have some startup and startup program experience. So where are we? We actually have a, uh, a beta re ready, so if you wanna come later, you can gladly show it to you. We actually have the first paying pilot uh, client which we acquired, we're just finishing the contract discussions, but it's with OHP. And what we're looking for is actually seed funding. So is this a business? Well, if I save in one billion satellite project, only 10% of the project costs, and this is really a low estimate, it's a value creation of 100 million. So the business model is obviously a B2B business model. We want to start with the satellite market, but we're fully aware that all the other industries have the same problem. So we're going next to chemical plants, to submarines, to all of the others who do very complex products in very low quantities. So Excel is not enough to do satellites and any other engineering. Thank you.
very good, very nice presentation. Thank you. Um, you mentioned um, signing with your first customer. How much time will it take you to implement it and to roll it out with them? So the, the start of the project is planned for 1st of May. How much time will it take to roll it out for the users? How will you so do? So the, f so the, so okay. The, it, the difficult part will be the installation on their servers. Right, that's my question. Okay, this is gonna take one to two weeks. Okay. Depending on their security environment and so on. But basically we have a software which is a, it's a web-based software which can run in a, in a virtual environment and you just basically have to put a virtual machine on the server the same way, I don't know, Eclipse or other systems are being deployed in these companies. So it's not a new way of deploying software in a company. Well, I don't really have a question, but more like a statement. Uh, I really like the fact that we met last year already during the startup weekend, which was here organized in Bremen. Uh, and to see you stand here on the stage right now, again, is, uh, is very fortunate. So I'm very happy that you pursued your dreams of uh, getting this thing done. And another note there, uh, before I give the mic to my right here to Robert. Um, what I haven't seen in quite some time is something very innovative in the aerospace market, which can then be deployed again in the rest of the engineering world. Uh, so I'm very happy with this kind of thing. Thank you, thank you very much. Thanks. No question, but great job. <laughs> thank you very much.